Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect Grammarly to Outlook in 2023. So, of course, this video will be helpful like tool for finding your emails connecting Grammarly to Outlook. So if you're eager to enhance your email writing and editing process, stick around and let's explore, of course, the step-by-step -step process of integrating Grammarly with Outlook. So make sure to stick by, let's dive right into this video and simply let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, we'll have to go and open whatever like browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm going to use like Brave Browser and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Now, you'll have to choose, are you going to use like the Outlook app or you're going to use the Outlook on your uh, browser. If you're going to use it on the app, you'll have to go and download Grammarly. To do so, of course, just go to Grammarly.com Hit the enter button. And of course, you'll have to wait for the page until it loads. Of course, you will not find yourself in here for me. I already like logged in and I have an account and etc. For you, you'll have just to go here go into that of course type grammarly.com again and you'll find yourself on a page like this here make sure to simply go and click on sign up it which is free of course if you want to create an account or click on sign up with google if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account if you click on login you'll be able to log in with google uh, other than that Everything like is easy. Of course, if you don't know nothing about Grammarly, you can scroll down, read more information about it, as you can see. So here works uh, where you do. So get suggestions from Grammarly while you write in desktop application and sites across the web as you move between apps, social media, documents, messages, and email. So there's the options, of course, for emails and messages. As you can see, we have Microsoft's Outlook, which we are, what we're looking for in this video. So here we have other things for documents and projects and for social media also. So basically, you can use it everywhere. And of course, here you'll have to click on login into your account if you have one, login with Facebook, Google, or Apple, or sign up using one of those options. So, sorry, click on sign up at three. As you can see, you'll have to do the same. Once you logged in or sign up into your account, you'll basically find yourself on something like this. Here, if you have, of course, to download it, of course, for you, while, while you are logging into your account or just signing into your account, uh, you will find there like the steps to download it into your PC. It's very easy. You'll have to choose like whatever you have, Windows or uh, Linux or whatever you have. Just click on that, download it and install it. And you will find like, let me just open it up so you can see the app. As you can see, you'll find an app like this. So you'll find it's opened. Let's check if it's opened in here or not. Okay, it still didn't open yet. So just go and open that again. And as you can see, so it will open with something like that. So basically it's already like in once you find the icon in there. So even if you close it in here, as you can see, you'll find it's still working. So now basically if you're using it on the app, just go and open your Outlook as an example. So let me just go and open the Outlook as an example. I'll have to wait until it's opened. Then of course you can go and start as an example, a new email in here. And you can simply just start typing your email. So as an example, how are you? So I'll just type, how are you doing? I'll just write it like wrong. Don't or don't do that, please. Uh, here, uh, here I am. Or here you go or something like that. So I'll just type like something like that. And as you can see, Grammarly will find like an icon in here that has three mistakes or four. So it's keep calculating, of course, always just click on it. And as you can see, you'll find the things that you have to correct. So click on accept. And as you can see, it will correct everything by its own. So click on dismiss, of course, if you, unless you want to go and get one of their plans. Click on accept in here, accept in here. And as you can see, uh, you can dismiss that or uh, simply just go and fix this because they're telling you if you don't like want uh, I am to be marked as misspelled in the future, you can add it to your personal dictionary. So... You can add this if you want to keep writing it like this. If you don't, click on dismiss. So you can, uh, like, of course, uh, do it the right uh, as, as it should. So keep clicking on accept, of course. Once you do so, you will find yourself with a correct thing in here with everything should be cool. So, of course, you'll have to keep click, uh, click on and accept. Once, like, you finish, make sure that you have no more 
like mistakes. I don't know why that is not working like correctly. So I'll just go fix this my own because it's very easy. So doing. And as you can see, I'll have no mistakes at the moment. So that if you want to like use Outlook in your app. If you want to use it in, in like uh, the browser, so you can go, of course, to Outlook. So go to Outlook, of course. Go to the first link. You'll have to log in into your account or create your account, basically. So let's click on sign in in here and let's see if I have an account. Uh, okay, it does not seem like it, but simple. You can go. I'll just use Google Docs as an example. So I'll you just use like docs.google.com. Click on that. Of course, I'll just go with the blank documents. And let's say, as an example, this is the email that we are going to use like on our Outlook. Of course, to use this in the browser, we'll have to go and download the extension. Where can you find the extension? You can go back to Grammarly, go to this left panel. Example. If you click on apps here, you'll be able, of course, again, to install it in Chrome, on Windows, iPad, iPhone, Android, whatever you want. Or you can, of course, if you don't want to like come here and click on install on, on Chrome, of course, or whatever browser you have, they will take you to the extensions uh, stuff. If you don't want to do that, you can always come here. And of course, go to the CRL section. Basically, just type here like extensions. As simple as that. Of course, uh, I'll have to add no. It does not matter. Click on that first link. And here, basically, just go and look for Grammarly. And you will basically just find it. So it's going to be, as you can see, the same. So once you find it, just click on add to Brave. Of course, add extensions. You can see even what people saying about it, details about it, size, privacy policy, support, and etc. Once it downloaded, of course, just click on the extensions in here. Just pin it so you can use it very easy. Of course, you can uh, see what's about. For example, so click on C to C. And here, basically, let's say all oh, this present as we said this Outlook. So here, basically, I'll just type again. How are you like doing? Uh, I hope all good as an example, uh, don't do that, I'll just type that like that, and like this, I'll just do this, and as you can see, now what should I do so I can use Grammarly on my browser, so I can just go and click on Grammarly in here, and as you can see, make sure that you have everything on, just check for writes and suggestions and etc., and you can even show definition synonyms for via double clicks and etc. You can uh, choose whatever you write in and American English and etc. And that's going to be it. So click on a new document. If you want to like write in Grammarly, from there you can like do everything. Uh, or you can do it from here. So as an example, we've... So for me, I have a, like a small problem because I have it here and downloaded, so it's interfere with each other. But for you, of course, you will find like uh, something here. So let me just refresh just in case. So it should normally like work. Yeah, as you can see, it's working now. And I even closed the app. So as you can see, it's not opened. So I find the same here and here. I'll just click on it. And as you can see, I'll get this. So I'll keep, I'll be able to edit all of those again and again without any problems. And I'll be good to go. So that's going to be it for my video. If you like it, of course, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one. And I'll see you in the next video.